Hello and welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. In today's session, we are going to learn what is bug and what is debugging. First, let's see what is bug. When it comes to software programming or writing code, bug means you wrote a program or a piece of code that doesn't behave the way you expect it, meaning the program has some kind of fault or error. This is called program having a bug. For example, take a look at this example. Here you are taking two numbers as an input and you are just doing some of these two numbers and printing it. Now this program is written in Python using PyCharm editor. But really the concept applies to any program. It, it could be in C++, Java, any programming language, right? Uh, so if I run this program here, it will first ask me to enter two numbers. So I enter two and three and it is saying sum is 23. Now, if you just look at the program, what it is doing is it is adding two numbers, n1, n2, and in this function, all I'm doing is a plus b, I'm returning that, and that's what we are printing here. So if you just read the program, it everything looks okay. So you will wonder what's wrong with this, right? So this means this program has a bug. It doesn't behave the way you expect it to behave. So the process of finding bug and fixing it is called debugging. Debug means debug, meaning you are removing bugs from your program. This is similar to fixing problem with, let's say, your car. You're driving your car and car has problem and it's not working or it is making some weird sound. You will take it to a mechanic and in the garage, the mechanic will open the car, he will examine different parts and do different tests, and he will figure out what is wrong. Similarly, this program is not behaving well, so I have to kind of dig into it, analyze the st every step of execution, and watch all the variables and all kind of programming states that are corresponding to that execution, and then eventually figure out what's going wrong. Another real life example of debugging is called, let's say you are uh, sick, you go to a doctor and doctor will ask you to do a blood test. So uh, they will take your blood sample and the blood sample will go to a laboratory. In the laboratory, the technician will examine the blood under microscope. He will m do various tests and he will figure out whether you have a sugar level problem or cholesterol problem etc so debugging is similar it, it's basically using a debugger uh, you are trying to find a problem uh, within a program that is not behaving well okay so let's uh, examine this program and find out why it is not behaving the way you expect it to behave now right now i'm using pycharm editor uh, you can use Microsoft Visual Studio or Eclipse, whatever uh, editor you are familiar with. Uh, these editors are co also called IDE, meaning Integrated Development Environment, which allows you to write the code as well as debug it. Okay, so here in PyCharm, I will click on this icon. You see there is a bug icon here. So this means I'm debugging it. Now, before I debug it, um, I have set a breakpoint here. See, normally what happens is if you don't click on this bug and if you directly run the program, it will ask you for input and it will straight up execute, right? So it will just pass through this line and you will not find a chance to examine the state of program uh, carefully. So what you want to say program is, you want to say, okay, when you come here at this point, so these two things are fine. You're just taking input, right? So I want to, uh, I want program to stop here. So this means breakpoint. So this red circle, when I click here or when I press F9, in many of the editors, F9 is a shortcut for setting a breakpoint. Breakpoint means when program reaches here, it will stop. It will not go further. So let me click on bug icon here and see what happens. Okay. Now here, as you can see, the program wait a minute uh, yes so the program uh, is asking me to enter first number so two 
and then enter enter three okay uh, i have to use there are two concepts here like step over and step into meaning go to the next line or go inside the function i want to go inside this add number function and see what's going on so you use this option f11 or step into when you do that it goes inside the add number function now here one thing you notice is a and b are in quotes meaning they are strings okay also if you go here uh, let me find out the variable okay I'm going to move this back to the down because that's more convenient okay so if you look at this pen here here it says variable a and b so this panel is variables panel it shows all the local variables in your function and two and three are strings actually now when I say next you see s is 23 because what it is doing is it is just adding two strings together right so that's what the problem is the problem is that you are adding two strings instead of adding two numbers so now what you need to do is so I will so I now I, I know what is the problem the problem is we are not adding two numbers we are adding two strings okay so when you say next naturally it is been printing as 23 uh, okay cool so that's why you got the output of 23 here okay so what I need to do is I need to convert these two numbers into integer so when I took it from the console it they were strings so when I do n1 is equal to int n1 what it is doing is converting a string into integer then n2 is equal to int n2 okay so now so let me again uh, set up a breakpoint here and see what happens so when I debug it once again is it asking for the number 2 so when I enter 2 n1 you can see here it is still still a string okay until this point n1 now good thing about pycharm debugger is in the comment section it will show you uh, the value of that variable when I go to next now see you see that those quotes are gone now so now this became a true number okay now it is asking me for the second number so now second number is also string because there is a quote here when I say next it become three because of this line okay integer now when I go inside the function a and b as you can see here are integer numbers and when I say next now s is 5 so when I run it now the sum is 5 so now it's behaving the way I expect it to behave so I just found a bug in the code and fixed it okay that was all about what is bug and debugging thank you very much for watching